able to control this field. He measures the pace, and they'll wait to see those red lights come on, and they'll wait to see the red lights go off, and then we'll be underway with the Agile Four Hours of Shanghai, the opening race, and they go. Opening race of the season, and immediately Andrea Pizzitolo has taken the lead. He gets by the number eight car, also going by. I think that is Phil Hansen looking to go around the outside. And a round goes Alexander West at turn one. So it's happened immediately. Alexander West. Traffic. This is the number 11 car guy, Ferrari. That car made it in the hands of its owner, Takushi Kimura. Car collector extraordinaire. This race is going online. Take a look at uh, Kimura Sam's uh, video. If you're going to base camp in a Ferrari of 14, that's right. That's an unbelievable story. Staggering, staggering stuff. I think tops it out with this left hand turn. He's got the right line there. Neither of them are, are conceding that line, and that's bound to happen. A little bit of a chip just at the bottom. Oh, been there's off. been a little bit of contact, I think, there, rear to front, and uh, that's uh, given a wild moment. That Ferrari is going to be away and clear. This has been a wild race so far. It has. And it really has been. I uh, mean, action packed, and not all of it in a good sense. <laughs> Early on. Looks like he had a bit of a stop, but he's back up and running now. Number 11, that is the car guy. That is now the leader in GT, Mike Rosalino, ahead of Bond Rhymes. Something like 15 seconds per gap. So, the two hour mark. That's been a great run so far from car guy. Japanese team, late nice. addition to the overall.
is that Alexander Pierre Greedy with that last pitch stop Johnny Meldham um, has taken second position in the GT class, but Johnny Meldham hanging on uh, for a podium position with TS Sports. He is not a million miles away from the pace of those Ferraris, just a little bit of a gap, but he is outpacing two way at the moment.